in the violin world, if you have 10 violinists playing a piece of music, any piece, doesn't matter, then the goal is to play the music exactly as it is on that paper. And the music tells you how loud to play, what kind of short bows, fast bows, the tempo, and they even tell you how to think. They tell you how to feel when you play that. And so for the most part, 10 violinists are all gonna sound the same. But if you line 10 fiddlers and you ask them to do a fiddle tune, none of the fiddlers are gonna sound the same. Each person is gonna have their own little way to play it, some little different way. And there's many fiddlers that never play the same tune the same way twice. And, you know, many times people will ask me, well, which do you like best, the violin or the fiddle? I'm asked that a lot. And I could never, I would never be able to say, because when I'm doing the Bach double, concerto with a friend or sitting in a symphony orchestra, that's the best. Or if I'm playing Orange Blossom Special with some friends on stage and you see people tapping their foot out there, then that's what I love. I can never choose between the two of them. It's my personal belief that if someone's going to play the fiddle, they ought to start with old time American fiddling because that's a, a, that's a basic and then branch out if you want to. But I, th I think uh, it's part of America, it's part of our old, uh, our cultural heritage.